Hello guys, how's it going? Today, uh, I'm gonna be giving you guys an updated look at armor coming in the 1.1 slash Battle Gods update. And, um, to start off, uh, I will show you guys just, you know, all the armors we got. We have, uh, th these four all Saiyan Saga. We have Vegeta, Raditz, Goku, and Piccolo. You know, simple. Um, this one, these two are non-Saga specific, of course. This is the Xenoverse 2 Time Patroller outfit. And this is the uh, Xenoverse 2 Time Patroller uh, jumpsuit. Uh, not textured yet, of course. Uh, to start, I'll give you guys a look here. Um, I'll, I'll use this one, because I haven't modified it at all. I'll get to these in a minute, by the way. Uh, so, you know, to start, we have, um, you know, all your, uh, the gear score being 6.0 on this one. This is obviously just a template. Uh, but this, this one provides a better look, actually, since they all have separate stats per piece. And, uh, the stats being melee damage, defense, and key power. Those, you know, being the output stats, I like to call them. Where, you know, it's like your punch damage, the, the damage you take. Or not the damage you take, you know, your damage reduction, essentially. Wow, ratio. And, uh, key power here, you know. So, uh, and these are your normal stats. Uh, the only time armor modifies those is with full set bonuses, as you can see visually here. And this is a look at how armor looks. Obviously, it's all your armor added together um, for the output here. So, yeah. Uh, and on top of that, uh, you have the enhancement system, which has been briefly covered before. Uh, but there's not been too much about it. Obviously, there's a command for it, so you can do enhanced melee damage. Or, sorry, melee. I always get the good confused. So, put uh, one extra point into my melee. So now I have an extra 1% melee if I put this on. You see, times 1.01. Yeah. So mixing and matching sets is probably going to end up being what a lot of people do. And I'm 100% with that. I would appreciate that, honestly, because um, these have been made and textured in a way that you can easily mix and match them. Obviously, some of them won't work so well together, of course, but... They're individual pieces, so the, you know, the chest pieces, you know, your chest and gloves and your arms and all that, and just your legs. So, with enhancements, obviously you have a limited amount. So, with that, you want to keep in mind that runes, once you apply one, I'll put one on body here. Um, I'll also show the stats, stamina, max key, as well as body. So, I put one on body, it starts off at 1. So, when, before you get into enhancing a set, you might want to remember of course, that you have a limited amount of enhancement, and the three rune stats, I like to call them, start off at one. And also, they have a purple color for the stat instead of green. Uh, wait, okay. Now, going into just, uh, leave. You guys have already seen full set bonus. Obviously, it does this. And armor active just shows which piece you have on, so you can easily screen cap this and send this off to someone. Uh, maybe I'll show stats here for the armor one day. We'll see though. Obviously, Christine, you can just hover over here and see them. Mm, but um, I'm also intending to add a toggle option in the quick menu. But there it is uh, in testing, obviously. Not gonna be right there. But you can uh, click this and it will turn your armor on and off. It doesn't do anything right now, it's only there for visuals. But go to click that and turn toggle your armor stats on and off so that you will, you know then be able to just wear this outfit without having to worry about what its full set does, what its stats are. You just look nice, you know? Because obviously armor isn't um, going to be optimal for the mass audience of players, right? But you know, you of course can use it on whatever. So, I believe I've covered just about everything. You know, they each have their own full set bonus and obviously if I, if I wear this, I'm not gonna I don't have a full set, so none of that's getting modified. And, uh, pretty low gear rating. Gear rating goes up um, if you have full set on, of course. You get a times 1.3, so you're end up getting a pretty high one. Obviously, these all have six the test set. But uh, yeah, uh, you're mixing and matching can go pretty far, and oops, I cover those. These three sets over here are uh, you know, Ghost Boy, Badman, and Aloha. They are all just visual. They're just cosmetic, limited to the Battle of Gods release event. So, um, they won't be achievable much more after this event because 
you know, it's just nice limited armor. And you will be able to trade them. This, these cosmetics are not soul bound. It is worthwhile to mention that all of this armor is soul bound. So, you will not be able to give your armor to someone else. This for obvious reasons, really, you know, that's kind of goes without saying. Uh, there's a couple more things I'm looking to add that I'm not too sure about so far, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little update on armor. I know there wasn't much uh, else info beside what was posted in teasers. I hope you guys appreciated this. 